a surge in respiratory syncytial virus, known as RSV, in children and infants is threatening to overwhelm hospitals across the country. The typical RSV season begins in November and fades out in March, but health experts say the respiratory virus appeared earlier this year as the country enters its first season without COVID-19 measures. In the week of October 15, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported more than 15% of RSV tests are positive, which experts say is high for this time of year. That doesn't reflect the past couple of weeks, said Dr. Kristen Moffitt, an infectious disease physician at Boston Children's H. Most hospitals, their microbiology laboratories are seeing about 20% to 30% positivity rate. Flu, RSV and the common cold, what to know about winter viruses and kids The CDC says symptoms of RSV tend to appear within 4 to 6 days after infection, and may include health experts say symptoms took in infants under 6 months, the only discernible symptoms may be increased irritability or lethargy, decreased appetite, or working harder to breathe. Infants under 6 months are vulnerable to RSV-related complications because of their naive immune system and small respiratory airways, health experts say. Due to COVID-19 mitigation measures, infants were less likely to be exposed to viruses like RSV during the pandemic and build immunity, said Dr. Ron Karen, chief medical officer of Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, during a media briefing last week. Some folks are calling it an immunity debt. You're seeing viruses for the first time and you're more likely to have a severe form of that infection. Health experts say infants are also more likely to develop bronchiolitis, an inflammation of the small airways in the lung, which may require respiratory support and hospitalization. There am. There is currently no vaccine for RSV but health experts say practicing hand washing and learning how to sneeze are important first steps to prevent transmission. You want to teach your child to cough or sneeze into your elbow or what's called their cough pocket, said Dr. Katie Lockwood, a pre. Practice hand hygiene with them, and I encourage parents to supervise it until you're confident they're washing well. There are also no antivirals for RSV. The only treatment available for sick children is at-home supportive care, which includes keeping them hydrated and sometimes fever medication. If a child is feeling sick, health experts also urge parents to keep them home from daycare or school to prevent further spread.